Hi, this is Tracy. Welcome to my beauty channel. Today I'm going to be discussing rose hip seed oil and my personal experience with rose hip, hip seed oil. And I've done some research on some of the claims and um, just to share some of the things I've heard about it. And I just want to share what it has personally done for my skin. And so first of all, it is a very good moisturizer for the skin. It's not greasy like other oils. So it soaks in real good, almost like a drier oil and I, I believe that's due to the essential fatty acids there's a high concentration of essential fatty acids and um, this really helps to moisturize the skin and plump it up very nicely as a matter of fact my first time using I've been using rose hip seed oil, oil for about maybe a year and a half and my I remember my first time using it the next morning my skin um, my skin had a nice rosy flush to it I noticed which was nice and it stayed hydrated all night long. And as far as it being the claim that it's anti-aging, this is what I have personally experienced with it. I have noticed that I have had, um, I have some lines around my mouth and then some, um, some deeper lines and some very um, slight lines and lines that are starting like here. And I've noticed, um, and it, about six months after using it, I noticed that was better. So it didn't, it took about six months, but it, it did make it better. It, uh, actually, the more I've used it, the more I've noticed that it has softened some of the lines on my face. And it, it did take, and after, actually after a year, the benefits even increase more for me. I also have heard that it speeds the healings, healing of wounds. And I really wouldn't know too much about that because I didn't really have anything on my, on any open wounds on my face. But um, also, um, help, as far as helping scars, I can say that, that yes, I have found a definite difference in, um, I've had some old acne scars that are probably at least 25 years old that have actually um, look like they're actually getting better and um, healing. And some of them um, are on my cheeks and they're indented scars. And definitely I've noticed that a difference in that. And as far as reducing appearance of, of the hyperpigmentation and scars already, yes, the scars are better. And my skin, my skin has seemed brighter since I've been using rosehip seed oil. And so it's been compared to Retin-A and Retinol. So what it is, is it, it has a vitamin A in it and a lower concentration of vitamin A and it has beta carotene, which is an antioxidant. But apparently the vitamin A is in a much lower concentration. So it will take a little bit longer for it to work and it might not be as dramatic as Retin-A or Retinol. But for me, it has, I believe that it is really something that I, it's really something I'm gonna to continue to use because it has really made a difference in my skin. And um, I like it because it is, it's natural based and I don't feel like I'm putting chemicals on me, in my skin. And um, overall, the appearance of my skin is much smoother, much brighter since I've been using the rose hip seed oil. All right, so I just wanted to let you know that I use the Aura Cassia, or Cassia, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but this is um, organic rose hip seed oil, and um, I do purchase it through Vitacost, and usually it's about $10 or less. Sometimes they have it on sale. That's the only place I've, I bought it, I've bought it, but I have seen it also in um, Whole Foods, and um, again, you know, it's usually around $10, $12. It's really inexpensive. And it does last me about, about two months because I use about one to two drops on my hand. If, I, if my skin is dry, then I will use three drops. And then what I do is I, I, I put it on the back of my hand and then I warm it to my skin and then I just press it all over my face and neck. And one thing that you wanna do with rosehip seed oil is keep it in the fridge and it will stay fresher that way. I don't know how long it lasts outside of the fridge. I know that it is very fragile and it does spoil easy. 
And I will tell you that one time I did get a bottle of this and it was it had like a fishy odor. And um, what that means is that it's rancid. It should smell like tea, just kind of um, very mild, very a tea-like smell. But if you if you open it and, it and it smells, it has a foul smell or smells like fish, then send it back to the store, take it back because it is spoiled. So I, I definitely just wanted to let you know about that. So that's about it and I just wanted to share my experience and if you like this video, please subscribe and um, thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.